Hi folks, keep in mind that everything I'm going to tell you guys is from a F3 pilot point of view. So let me explain to you where I come from. I knew nothing about action cams and when I started thinking about it, it was when I started flying the DJI FPV. I got the DJI FPV like I think two years ago, just like everyone. And quickly I came to the same conclusion that the image was not good enough. The field of view was not good enough and the dynamic range was not pleasing to me. I didn't like the quality that came out from the DJI FPV. So I quickly saw that everyone was mounting some action cams on their drone. Regular FPV pilots, this is what they do. Those who got those carbon fiber frames and stuff like that. And at that time, I think it was one year and a half ago, I had two options, GoPro 9 or GoPro 10. So the GoPro 10 had just been released. So I was like, let me get the latest one. So this way I'll have all the new features. A few months after GoPro released the GoPro 11. And when you think about it, GoPro releases a GoPro, I think, each month of September of the year. And the only difference I could notice, I mean, the differences that would matter to me uh, between the GoPro 10 and GoPro 11 was the 8x7 resolution. So this way, when you film in that resolution, you are able to crop vertically or horizontally. So you don't need to think about what platform you are going to put your footage on. So it would be good for YouTube and it would be good for Instagram or TikTok as well. Last year, DJI released the DJI Action 3 and I've seen some comparisons between the DJI Action 3 and at that time even the GoPro 10, the DJI Action 3 was not good in low light. There was one stop difference between even the GoPro 10 and I would say 11 and the DJI Action 3. So New Year, DJI in August releases a DJI Action 4 and this is what we're going to talk about in this video. What does the DJI Action 4 brings to the table? Should you buy it? or shouldn't you buy it? So the DJI Action 4 has the same sensor as the DJI Mavic Air 3. This is a much bigger sensor than the Action 3. So mathematically, you should get a better image quality. This Action Cam allows you to film in 10 color. So it's better if you plan to color correct or color grade your footage. You even got the 420 color profile and you are even able to film in D log M. Usually like most of DJI action cams and drones had the D scene alike, but I think this D log M is a much flatter profile. Like you have more option to tweak the settings. So all those qualities are going to make your footage look better on sunset and on sunrise because if you want to produce like better videos it's better to film at those moments of the day. The second problem of this action cam is that all accessories, batteries and the filters you had on the action 3 are going to match this one so you don't need to buy them. The third problem of this action cam is that you can tweak noise reduction and sharpness directly on the action cam settings and you can import your footage in gyro flow to stabilize it but in order to do that you need to define your field of view as wide and deactivate the rock steady stabilization because other than that if you do that you put your footage in gyro flow and you get a message saying that this cannot be stabilized because gyro flow softwares recognize that that the rock steady stabilization has already been applied the difference between the dji action 4 and for example the gopro 10 and 11 is that the field of view is wider but at the same time it has a less fish eye when you film with it. And about the batteries, from what I've seen on the internet, the DJI Action 4 batteries have performed the GoPro 11 batteries when it's cold and when the temperature is ambient temperature, but the GoPro 11 batteries have performed the DJI Action 4 batteries when it's very hot outside. And the last difference between the GoPro 11 and this one is that the image tends to be colder on the DJI Action 4 and warmer on the GoPro 11. Why did I talk about the GoPro 11 so much in this video? GoPro is a standard when we talk about action cams and the GoPro 11 is the last one that was released. So it's up to you to decide if you want or need this action cam. You know what DJI has put on the table with this one, if you need to buy this one. I know that GoPro is going to release the GoPro 12 in a few days. So before you jump on the DJI Action 4, let us wait what GoPro is going to bring to the table with the GoPro 12. That's all I had for today, guys. Cheers.